Yo guys, what's going on? It's Aces here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the implementation of patch 14.9 here in Escape from Tarkov. Do me a favor, make sure you're dropping a like on this one here today, and of course, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. 10 hours is how long this patch took to implement, and honestly, I don't really know where to start with this video because this is an extremely disappointing patch. And uh, yeah, I just got to say real quick, Nikita, I am a master at COD timing, so... When I say I expected you to do this to me, right when I decided to go lay down in bed and just chalk it up to being a lost cause of a day, I knew you were going to drop the patch on me, and I got some proof on screen if you guys don't believe me. I literally was within two minutes of this patch dropping. I know how COD timing works, Nikita, and you were just tweeting about Black Ops 2 the other day, so I know you're a fan. All right, let's hop into this patch, ladies and gentlemen. I am exhausted, so I apologize if the energy is not where it usually is, but this patch really doesn't warrant any energy for PvE players. It's kind of a disaster. So um, I did leave the video up from this morning because, um, you know, I just kind of felt like leaving it up, if I got to be completely honest with you. Ref was not implemented into PvE, and it honestly gets a lot worse from this point on. So uh, feel free to stick around. And, of course, if I didn't already say, make sure you're smacking the ever-living shit out of that like button. Ref was not implemented into PvE. Now, if you guys don't know, he is supposed to be in PvE. You are supposed to be able to transfer arena rewards to PvE. And obviously, there was something that was holding up that part of the deal, if you want to call it that. But Nikita literally said in the Tarkov TV podcast uh, that you will be able to transfer items from arena to your PvE account, but you cannot transfer items from PvE to arena. Um, looks like that promise was not fulfilled. Obviously, with Ref not being existent. But we have a few other problems. Um, for all you guys who are going to panic the moment all your GP disappears, don't. Uh, you'll be okay. It's not in there. Uh, we got some GP sitting around in the stash somewhere. There's a few here. There's a few in the other one. Let's see if I can get a bunch of them. Uh, but you are going to find out very quickly the moment that you quick sort your uh, loot boxes and whatever that all your GP is going to disappear it will just completely disappear mainly because GP coins can no longer go into scav junk boxes now don't worry when they disappear they will actually still be in your stash somewhere and they will automatically stack so uh, if they're not just restart your game they will show back up but I want to show you here that I'm going to take a GP coin out of my scav junk box and if I go to put it back in this item is not compatible so, when it comes to GP coins, they do stack now. So, as you can see here, they are now stacking properly, which is pretty cool. I just want to show you guys here, when I go to put a 21st GP on the stack, it will not allow you to do that because 20 is the maximum. As you can see right here, we will have to start a new stack, and uh, they are limited to 20 per stack. So, now that you can no longer throw them in your scav junk box, you will have to use some sort of other item that uh, can hold money. So obviously the number one thing is going to be the money case. As you can see right here, I can successfully put in the stack of GP coins. Don't look at this. It's, it's kind of bare. It's kind of embarrassing. Let's go to the, the YouTube dump. Okay. Uh, retirement fund. Yeah, we're good. We're good for retirement, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you worry. When it comes to uh, the YouTube money and the donos, you know, I, I had to buy a six thick case. So, you know, j just had to store my contacts somewhere. Don't judge. This is a judgment-free zone. Uh, but when it comes to GP, go ahead and throw it in your money case. I'm sure there's a couple other things they can probably go into a uh, sick case or something like that. Uh, when it comes to your inventory, though, I do want to show you that you cannot have 20 on you. You can only have 10 on you at a time. As you can see right there, it did go ahead and split the stack. So you can only have 10 GPs on your character at once. So if you're killing all the scab bosses right now on Shoreline, I believe you would get 10. I think it is. So uh, that works out for you. So let's talk about the problem, the biggest problem. And there might be other problems, but the biggest problem. All the barters are gone. They're gone. And when it comes to the barters actually still existing, you can't do them. You can't get them. They're all quest locked. So, Nikita, please explain to me how us PvE folk, which is a large percentage of your player base, is supposed to do these barters. Now, we're not really missing out on anything too crazy. Don't get me wrong. But how are we supposed to do these barters if we can't access the task 
because you didn't give us access to the trader. I'm a little confused. And uh, you can feel free to let me know, Nikita, because I can let everybody else know. So, Nikita, please let me know how we are supposed to deal with this in PvE. I, I really don't understand what happened, and I would love some clarification on your personal Twitter account. We've been, you know, very receptive of you being very transparent to the community. So now I think it would be a great time for you to explain what actually happened with this patch. And uh, let us know, because I think we deserve it. I think that we should not be doing the same exact thing that got you in hot water about a month ago uh, for only releasing certain content to a certain part of the player base. If you don't remember, I can remind you that there was a pretty tremendous fire lit under your ass when it comes to exclusive content. Now, me personally, I do not give a flying shit, but I am also somebody who loves Escape from Tarkov end-to-end -end, no matter what. And as long as I still got my PvE mode, I don't really give a shit. But when it comes to everybody else, that's kind of, you know, what got you in trouble the last time. It wasn't me. I was on board from the start. But when it comes to all the non-true believers, uh, they are probably going to be a little upset once they realize that you did not give them the new trader. You have quest lock things now that are actually impossible to obtain as of this exact moment. Unless I somehow... Just lost access to the barters I already had access to, and maybe I just have to do a PvE exclusive task. Yippee. Uh, but let's be honest, that's not the case. So unless completing the task on PvP Tarkov unlocks it in PvE, which we know it doesn't, but hypothetically, um, that just makes no sense, and that needs changed. So there's plenty of other stuff that probably snuck its way through with this patch, one thing I want to test out is the 20% trader increase for Unheard Edition. And I also want to take a look at the name change and icon change. So let's check out Peacekeeper and let's see if I can buy 96 M62s. Haven't checked yet. I have absolutely no idea if you can or not. Limit is 96, so that is successfully implemented. So I guess PvEers who are on Herd Edition did actually get something with this patch. You got a little increased your trader limit, so I'm assuming 855 is now 1200. Yes, it is. All right, I guess I'll take that. I'm not going to complain. At least I get something out of this thing. You know, was it worth 10 hours? Fuck no, but it's something. So let's check out being able to change our name so we don't get bullied for spending $250. Um, you know, if you guys want to... Leave me some engagement in the comments. I did pay full price for Unheard. You can call me a Timmy. And uh, if that's really not your style, then feel free to let me know how to get rid of this 99 down here. Because I, I don't know. I mean, you guys comment all the time. I just have to click it. But I swear I click it. It just doesn't go away. So if you have another method, uh, the engagement is certainly welcomed. Profile icon. There it is, baby. Oh, we can go to default. That's actually funny. Um, that actually kind of... I actually don't like that. I don't like that for PvP Tarkov. For PvE, who gives a shit? Yeah, when it comes to PvP Tarkov, I think that's an L. Like, if you see a default name and they are kind of sus, you know, they're going to get reported a lot more. So for the PvP side of the game, if you want to get reported a lot more, default is definitely where you want to be uh, hanging out in. But we have our EOD profile icon here. It's nice to see it again. But I'm actually a pretty big fan of my $250 icon, so I think I'm going to keep it. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I don't think there's really much more for me to show you on the PvE side of the game. Uh, still, at this point, if you didn't see my pinned comment on the video from earlier, I have zero intentions of hopping on PvP and actually checking out Ref for content. I might do it on my own time. I might put it on my variety channel, which is Aces Plays, but I'm not going to upload it here. Uh, I will save all of that until it's actually added into PvE, which if the decision is being made to never add it to PvE, that is a massive fucking L. Um, I have been holding back this rant for the last 10 hours because the moment I saw the patch notes, I was ready to make this video and ready to talk about some of these things. Uh, but I wanted to be sure once the patch was implemented and here we are. And um, I'm definitely frustrated and I'm kind of annoyed, but what am I going to do about it? Don't have any say in anything. Um, so yeah, when it comes to this update, we pretty much got screwed over as the PvE community. But it just kind of is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, your normally scheduled content will resume tomorrow. We actually have Uncut and Unheard still scheduled out 
uh, for later today, which I think it's still like May 3rd in that recording. So you can enjoy me absolutely malding over not being able to find PMCs in the office on Factory. And also, we have Body Cam coming out tomorrow, so check out the Aces Plays channel if you want to see some of that gameplay eventually over there. I'm very excited to try out Body Cam, even though the devs uh, rejected me for doing a sponsored video because I don't have 100,000 subscribers. So, uh, this is Tired Aces here today, and I appreciate all you guys who have been showing so much support lately. Any super thanks or anything like that, I will get to tomorrow. Make sure you guys get your shoutouts because you absolutely deserve that recognition for supporting the channel so much. Uh, but yeah, I apologize for the lack of energy here today. I am actually exhausted. The moment I click upload on this, your boy is going to sleep. So a little unhinged here on the recording, but I think the point got across that this update is extremely disappointing and there's not much for us when it comes to the PVE side of the game. Do me a favor, drop a like on this one. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Sponsored equipment description below. It's going to be it for me. I'll see you in the next one. I'm out.